Joanne Lulin. Pow! We were born here in Northeast Ohio. We were raised in this Midwestern environment. I guess that's where we got this nose to the grindstone persona about us. Dynamic, outspoken, controversial, always. And what I think is just amazing is she is still that. Plus, she's an Irish lady, which means it will get done. It was about 20 years ago. I got a phone call from a very frantic Joanne, and she said, oh my God, John, I've got cancer just like our mother. She sat me down and told me that this was the case, and I had never met my grandmother, Billy, because she had died from breast cancer. And so I didn't know if my mom was going to make it. Oh, and she's had cancer twice, or should I say, she's kicked cancer's ass twice. She's superwoman. <laughs> she really I, is. I don't think she sleeps. She claims to sleep. I don't really think she sleeps. I think she's just got a constant engine that is going nonstop. Well, when I first came to Breast Cancer Action three years ago, Joanne Lulin was legendary. She had been running this fundraising luncheon at that time for about seven years. The first luncheon that I went to, I didn't know what to expect. But I was not prepared to laugh as hard as I laughed at that luncheon with Joanne. She's an amazing host and people come back year after year because of who she is, her passion, her dedication, her energy, and her fire. BCA really reflects Joanne's personality, which is to challenge authority when it appears that um, the authority is not really paying attention to the needs of the individuals. But also, I think she feels, as we do, that BCA is a, an organization that is a truth-telling organization. It's an authentic organization. And it not only speaks the truth, but it speaks truth to power. Joanne approached the Supreme Court case with the same determination and passion and energy that she approaches everything. And while I was dealing with the media and doing the program work and, and you know, writing op-eds about the importance of this case challenging one company's patent on the human BRCA genes, Joanne was behind the scenes making sure that we would have tickets to the Supreme Court. When we got our tickets and we were approaching the Supreme Court steps, Joanne paused and gave me the first ticket to be the first person to walk in to the Supreme Court um, to hear this case. The organization would not be where it is if we did not have her. And what she has given of herself, of her time, of her energy, of her love, is what makes this organization tick. And we are enormously grateful for your 10 years of service. Thank you. Joanne does something every day to help the world, to help make it a better place for you and me. And uh, as we're seeing today, she's continuing to raise awareness with BCA to raise money to fund change. Thank you, Mom, for having the courage, determination, and energy to defeat cancer twice and take that pain that you went through and took many members of our friends and family and turn it into something positive that will save countless daughters, mothers, and grandmothers. I love you very much. And I know everyone else does too. Our mom was able to do an awful lot of philanthropic kind of work herself. And Joanne's far more like her than I am like her. She is an activist. She's got activism in her blood. Oh sure, let's do a biopsy sometime. Your place or mine? <laughs> what you might not know is that my mom's a superhero. It's true. It's the only way she gets this stuff done. Don't tell anybody though.